Hi again then guys and welcome to the 10th installment of D-Spec, the Drift Spec tuning series that I run for Gran Turismo 6. It's been a while since the last episode and in this episode we're featuring a vehicle which is hugely popular but not usually so much for drifting. Some people do use it for drifting but most people don't. It is the Honda Integra Type R, it's the DC2 shape Type R. And in particular, I will be using the Spoon Integra. This tune setup, however, works pretty much exactly the same on any of the DC2 Integras. It should also carry over pretty well to the DC5, but this is primarily for the DC2, so no promises there. As far as tyres with drifting, we all have our own personal preferences. I've chosen to go for sports hards on the front, comfort hards on the rear. For the brakes, I've reduced the rear balance to 4, increased the front to 6. For suspension, we've got the lowest ride height, springs on 1025 front and rear, dampers as low as possible, anti-roll as high as possible, neutral uh, camber, I should say, and tow, we've got neutral on the front, and you want it towed all the way out on the rear. For the gearbox, you want an auto setting of 130, then for the individual gears, we've got 4, 2.9, 2.2, 1750, 1450, and 1225, with a final drive of four. For the diff, initial torque, acceleration and braking all halfway. As far as power, you want all the power upgrades on the case of the spoon, not so much power, but just fit whatever power upgrades you want basically. You could fit NOS, I haven't, but again, personal preference. We've got the carbon bonnet and a 200 kilo ballast, which I've put all the way to the front of the car. So, that's it for the tune setup for this particular drift model. Now let's take it out to the track to see what it can do. Now the funny thing is, a lot of people seem to think that drifting a front wheel drive car is almost impossible. I would disagree with that. In fact, I would say it's actually easier to drift a front wheel drive car than any other type. Ironically, it does of course require a completely different drifting style to a rear wheel drive or all wheel drive car and basically the way to use this particular tune is you want to enter your corner depending on the track of course and the elevation of the road but as a general rule you want to try and enter your corner at around 60 to 70 miles per hour engage the handbrake but keep the car under pretty much full throttle with the handbrake pulled all the way around the corner and basically it gives you the same effect as when you sometimes see young drivers with front wheel drive hatchbacks in car parks where they put trays under the rear tyres to make the cars slide. Very similar principle. You want to lock up the rear wheels, which allows you to still drive, of course, with the front wheels, but then it makes the back end of the car extremely loose like it's on ice so that you can hold the drift actually amazingly well with a front wheel drive car. This car will hold a drift perfectly and it's pretty good all round as a drift car to be honest it's not i would say better at any particular speed of corner some cars are better for drifting around city tracks some are better for high speeds this feels pretty good for both to be honest so if you decide to use this tune i'd love feedback on it do you find it fun and competitive for drifting and i'll see you guys next time so if you'd like more tunes like this feel free to subscribe and as always thanks for watching